Okay, let's see an alternate method to lining up our baseline grid with our row grid. Now this time, let's say uh, we don't know how many lines per row that we want. Uh, we still want 13 rows because that aligns with the aspect ratio of the document. But now let's say we want approximately 55 lines of text. So let's get our calculator. So we're going to say we want 11 point letting. So, well, let's say, let's say 50 lines. That's a little more reasonable, I think. 50 lines of text times 11 point letting equals 550. So now let's subtract the 550 from 792, which is the height of the page. So I'll add that to my memory, 792 minus memory recall equals, so 242. So now let's divide that by two for our top and bottom margins, divided by two equals uh, 121. So let's just copy that. All right, so let's go to our layout, margins and columns, paste it in, paste it in, and we'll say, okay. Also, I'm on the master page, by the way, or the parent page, as they say now. Uh, let's make our rows. So we'll go to layout, create guides. Okay, number of rows is 13. Uh, the gutter will be 11, because that is our letting. Uh, columns, again, we'll put that in later. So we'll say, okay. All right, now let's zoom in over here. Uh, we're going to turn on our, our baseline grid. So I already set up the baseline grid in my preferences to be 11 points. So we'll start at zero points relative to the top margin and 11 point increments. Okay, so let's turn that on. So I like, again, I like to use this little icon over here. Here's our baseline grid. Uh, so you can see they don't really match up. So now let's see how we figure out uh, how to remedy this. Well, I'm going to draw a box. I already set my fill to blue, so it's easy to see. So I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to bring this down to the baseline nearest to my grid there. So what is this? So now this is, I can see up here, is 33 points uh, tall. Okay, so now we're going to move this down the page, actually copy it. So how much do we want to move this? Well, this this is 33 points tall, and then our letting is 11. So we want to move this 44 points. So actually, we want to copy it also. So we can use the move feature, which we have in InDesign and Illustrator, and the same uh, shortcut to get to it quickly, just double click on the selection tool. That'll bring up the move. So 44 is correct. And we want to copy it. So there you go. So you got this is 33, this is 33, and we got 11 points in between. So now we want to continue that. So the easiest way to do that is to use the object transform again. Now I created a shortcut for that using edit keyboard shortcut. So I created my own shortcut for that, uh, shift D. Similar to Illustrator, which is control or command D. So let's uh, zoom out. I'll click on this, this box here. So I'll do shift D. So now we got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, so we're close. So now we have to know what is left over here. So we can use this move tool. So normally you'll see, I believe the color theme tool on top, but if you click and hold, you'll see the measure tool. And let's zoom in over here. So we wanna get right on the margin here. Hold down the shift so we go straight. And it, it sort of snapped. Well, you see our smart guides will help us. There we go. So we're exactly 11 points off. 
So we have to uh, add that to our margins. We need a little, we need 11 points more space. So I'm just going to add that to the top. So I'll go to layout, margins and columns. <clears throat> so actually, I'm going to subtract 11 points. So this will bring the margin up 11 points. Hit the tab key. So there we go. So that's good. So now we just have to recreate our guides. Let's zoom in so we can see it happen. So we'll go to layout. Create guides. So same setting, 13, 11 points. Also remove the older ones. There we go. And actually you can already see it's going to work out. And then if you want to test it out, we can, you can select these guys here and drag them up to the corner. And you could see everything works out nicely. Now, again, let's test it out with some text. So I already created a paragraph style. So I'm going I'm to click on the, body, on the body style that I created already. So now when I fill this up with placeholder text, <clears throat> it'll use my settings. I'll go right down to the bottom. Fill with placeholder text. And there you go. So... My uh, paragraph style is set to uh, Adobe Garamond, um, 9 points, 11 point leading. So let's just double check. Yeah, 9 points is the size, 11 point is the leading. And indents and spacing, I set a line grid to all lines. Okay, so you see this works out nicely. So this is just another method that you can use. Okay, so I hope you like this video. I hope you'll subscribe, and I'll see you again. Bye-bye.